Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today. I know, I know, no face cam, but I tried recording this so many times, and honestly what happened was a lot of other people just kept losing. I was playing people that had played maybe 20 games or something like that, and they would just lose with me just uh, trying to build up my eco. So eventually, I just <laughs> got over trying to live record it, guys, and I just did it on my own while I was watching TV on the couch, and then I saved it, or I watched the replay and recorded over it. So whenever I can, guys, I do try and do live attacks or I do try and do live battles so that you guys can see my live reactions and face and all that kind of stuff. But today what we're doing, all dart monkeys. Now, I don't use dart monkeys that much. Honestly, you guys know me. The troops that, or the towers that I use the most are probably or definitely ninjas, wizards, and um, subs if there's water. Uh, if not, then uh, then I would say that Dark Monkeys is up there um, with those. But for the most part, it's ninjas and wizards. I also use the cannons a lot just because uh, they're freaking ridiculous with the balloon impact. And with... Oh my gosh, I'm tired. Woo. All right. Comment, how many of you just yawned because I just yawned? I want to know, how many of you just yawned? <laughs> but, so what we're doing, guys, all dart monkeys. That's what we're rolling with. We're rolling with all dart monkeys. We're going to have, we're going to split it up between juggernauts. We're going to split it up between dart monkeys and super monkey fan club. All that kind of stuff. And this is going to be an epic video. I know that you guys are going to love it. I had a lot of fun doing this once we finally got to a game that was awesome. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we're playing a uh, 150 player. Nope, we're just playing some random person. He's rolling with wizards on his side. We've got one juggernaut and two, I believe at this point, there's zero three dart monkeys, uh, but they could be two, three dart monkeys. Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, no, okay, so, and then what we're gonna do down here in the bottom is we're gonna build up another juggernaut so uh biggest thing here guys is obviously going to be building up my eco because i don't have farms now i've been trying to play a little bit more with farms and i know a lot of you guys play with farms etc etc um farms are pretty cool late game like when you get a factory but honestly eco for me is that's just what I enjoy. I don't have anything against farms. I just personally don't enjoy using them as much as I do building eco. You know, like, I feel like there's more of an investment in eco. Like, you can, you can sell your farm and get money back for it. You can't sell the money that you've put towards the eco and get that back. So, like, once you invest in eco, it's done. Once you invest in sending balloons, it's done. You can't take it back. You've got it. You're going to earn money from it, but it's going to take a little while to get money back on your investment. So people that use farms can sell it for a very, very small uh, discounted uh, price that they get back from it. So that's one reason why I personally like building up eco uh, better because I feel like it honestly is more challenging. And I, I would definitely agree with that and say it again. It is more challenging to win with eco than it is with farms or with balloon eco. Yes, farms are eco as well. Eco just stands for economy, so however much money you're making. So if you're using farms and you're making money from it, then that also counts as eco. But for me, building, 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 building eco, not farming eco, um, is a lot more challenging and takes a lot more strategy knowing when balloons are coming, knowing that around 13 people can rainbow rush, so you have to make sure that you've saved up enough. You have to make sure that you've saved up enough, but also gotten to a good point um, with your balloon eco to make enough by round 13 to defend. So uh, anyone, any any of you guys who want to get better at the game and, 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 and understand it a little bit more, I would challenge you, if you do use farms, don't use farms. Try not to use farms. Try and, um, I just lost a couple balloons there, no big deal. Uh, try and play without the farm, okay? I challenge you because I'm hoping, honestly, I'm hoping that it gets nerfed because 
Um, it's it's sad because I think that the farms limit the potential of the game um, because so many people are using it. I understand it. I, I, I would like to see it to where maybe it doesn't make as much money for you or maybe uh, when you sell it, you get nothing back, just like with Eco, with Balloon Eco. So you can keep your farm, but if you sell it, you're not going to get any money for it. I think that that would be awesome. I think that that would level the playing field a little bit more um, because that's the biggest thing. It's like, oh, I'm going to buy five uh, 1 uh, farms and just buy them to make money and then sell them and then send a whole bunch of balloons at you. I think it's kind of, it's not really original at all. It's not original if you do that. Um, yes, you can still win. And to me, winning isn't everything. A lot of people, I know I'm kind of on a rant right now, uh, but you guys are just watching this. Watch these. Look at all these dart monkeys we have. Okay, let's switch back to that. So we've got four juggernauts. One of them is hidden right down in the bottom left. You can barely see it. And then we've got six dart monkeys in that little middle part, and then two other dart monkeys, while this guy only has five towers on his side. But um, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say here is... <sighs> Alright, who yawned again? Which one of you yawned? Which one of you yawned while watching this to make me yawn, huh? Who was it? <laughs> was it you, Jeremy? Was it you, Spencer? <laughs> okay, now you have to let me know if there actually is a Jeremy or a Spencer watching the video. So, um, so I really hope to see something like that in the future. Uh, just to, just to uh, allow more of the potential of the game to come out to where people legitimately have to rely on different strategies because I, pro I honestly I bet if the people in Ninja Kiwi were to look up the towers that are used the most it would be the farm and the dart monkey and for me as a maker of a game I would be a little bit disappointed honestly like oh no there's so many of our towers that we've worked hard on like you know making and, and equalizing and everything like that there's so many towers that we've made that people aren't using because all they want to do is win now uh is winning everything to some of you guys it probably is to me it's not i want a fun game in fact a lot of times when i win at like round 20 i'm sad because i wanted to make it to round 40 you know what i'm saying some of you guys in the comments are hardcore farmers y'all are the ones that rush at 13 because you just want your uh win loss ratio to be awesome now, some of you guys, like me, are the hashtag late gamers. If you're a hashtag late gamer, write hashtag late game in the comments, guys, and let me know because that's me. I'm a hashtag late gamer. I like to go late game. I think that it's so much fun to see a map full of towers just absolutely wrecking uh, all the BFBs that people can send. I think that's so much cooler to watch than to watch uh, somebody sell something and send a whole bunch of... Uh, Rainbow regions. It's not that exciting to me. So what we're doing here, guys, we only have 848 eco. What do I always say? That's right. By round 24, I generally like to have about 1,000 eco. So right now, we're a little bit low on that. We've got almost $3,000 uh, right now, and I'm trying to place these monkeys as best as I can in the most perfect spot so that I can use as much space as possible. Now, here's one little downfall that I had. I probably should have spread them out up there by uh, the trees, thinking about this now after the fact, and uh, just thinking about it from other games that I've played. Like, a lot of times, I'll put my towers too close together, and it'll be amazing, like, uh, batch defense, like, in one area, like, just a whole bunch of damage in that one area. But if anything gets passed, you're screwed, you know what I mean? So, uh, it is good to put uh, complementing towers next to each other. So, say a 4-0 sub and a 2-3 um, or a 2-4 uh, ninja because the stun, etc. So, um, those are good to put next to each other. But, you want to make sure that you have your whole map covered. And right now, I don't have my whole map covered. I do have the middle portion and a good... Uh, amount of this bottom portion is going to start getting covered by all these juggernauts down here. Also, uh, for many of you who watch my Clash videos too, you know I'm all about symmetry. So right here, I'm like, all right, screw it. I'm just going to put all dart monkeys in the middle because it's going to look sick. And then I'm going to put all juggernauts in the bottom. So we're going to slowly start building just juggernauts down here in the bottom. Our eco's at 992 every six seconds. So that's not bad. I do want to get that up to 1,000. Um, so we are going to do that. Uh, here come the first Moabs on the screen. Our dart monkeys are doing good. I'm just going to boost it just to be safe to see how we hold off. And we're doing okay. Um, uh, we have $1,300. We just went up to 2000 
and we're jumping all over the place. I'm buying more dart monkeys, um, and I placed that one in the wrong spot. Look at this, there's this little gap of grass right there. They aren't overlapping like the other ones are, and honestly, when I did that, I was like, dang it, man. Like, why did I, I I'm all about symmetry. I wanted it to look good, and I know that that's like my downfall in a lot of areas, because obviously it's completely unnecessary, but yeah, uh, we're gonna end up we're gonna end up doing something with that in just a second as well. But you can see that our dart monkeys are doing a great job. Our juggernauts are doing a great job as well. We've got Moabs coming out. They're not doing too much to us. We're able to hold them off. Uh, I like. Here, here's my thing. Some of y'all who've watched my streams and stuff know this. Like, I generally don't like juggernauts, even though when you have a lot of them, they're pretty ridiculous. It's just hard because they miss a lot. Like, you have to line them up perfectly. So I have all these guys lined up along this little entry path right here. And it works perfectly. But if I'd put them in the middle over there where all the dart monkeys are, they would just be shooting all over the place, missing a bunch of balloons. You'd probably get some good casualties. But you can see right there, I sold that. I sold those two towers because I was like, uh-uh. I cannot have this green gap in here. I cannot have grass throwing, uh, showing through. And then right here, I was trying to place that monkey, and I couldn't. So I used my Super Monkey Fan Club. Here's a question, guys. Look at that monkey up top by the water. Why the heck did he change? And all those monkeys in the bottom left, uh, in that center portion, they didn't. I don't really understand Super Monkey Fan Club. I'm kind of new to it. I've used it before, obviously. But can you guys explain that to me? Because... You can see the little monkey in the middle. He's his uh, his range is over all of those dart monkeys, and yet he didn't turn all of them into super monkeys. But he did turn that one in the top that's out of his range. Doesn't really make any sense to me. Uh, a little bit confused. Uh, some of y'all are probably gonna say I'm a noob. That's fine. I don't really care if you say that because that's uh, up to you. Um, <laughs> so that's one of my questions to you guys about that. Um, why does it do that? It doesn't really make too much sense to me, but as you can see, we're coming up to round 33, guys. We made it around 33 with all dart monkeys uh, and a couple of jugs over here. I think we've got like six or seven down there right now holding off for us, doing a great job. Um, all these dart monkeys are just absolutely absurd. We don't have any Moabs coming out yet, so we're doing good. We just made another Super Monkey fan club. Um, and here's another thing, guys. <laughs> Um, you'll see it right here. I'm gonna use Super Monkey Fan Club. Come on. So I'm gonna use it, and you can see that ones that it changed right there. But if I use it again, it doesn't change the rest of them. It doesn't really seem like it does anything special if I use it twice in a row. And that's a little bit frustrating because I wish that it would overlap. It doesn't seem like it overlaps. It might overlap, um, but from my experience in this. Uh, game so far using the Super Monkey Fan Club, it doesn't really overlap too much. So um, there's another little thing that I'm I'm curious about. Obviously, I could ask the people at Ninja Kiwi this. I, I talk to them a lot, but um, I want you guys to be involved in this as well. Like I don't just make these videos for me. I make it to show you guys strategies that I use to show y'all what's working and to ask those of you that have been playing a lot longer than me. Um, questions, you know what I mean? Like I'm getting on your level. That's my whole goal is to get on your level and be like, hey, help me out because I'm not just here to help you guys. I'm here to also take advice um, from y'all. So that's something that I'm definitely going to be doing. Um, it's it's kind of I don't know. It's not me um, acting like an idiot or something. It's just asking y'all like, hey, help me out as my buds, as my friends. So. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make another jug right there. That one is shooting back uh, towards the entrance, and we're just gonna fill this entire area right here with juggernauts, and it is going to be ridiculous. Look at all guys. Look, all right. So he has a he. Well, first of all, he's got super monkeys over there, so he's crushing it with those. Because we just have uh, level one super monkeys, which are honestly not that good. We have a whole bunch of them whenever we use the fan club, but that's not really doing too much. He's got a couple of little robos over there, and uh, only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight towers total, and we're looking at about 40 towers right now or something absolutely absurd. Um, so uh, we've got 1,100 eco. I was trying to build it up a little bit more just so I could get some more Super Monkey Fan Club going on, but we're going to go ahead and use it right there. Again, we're at round 37, guys, and we're crushing it. We are crushing it right here. My whole goal in this was just to be like, hey, 
Let's see how far we can make it with the dart monkeys uh, because I've never done it before. I've done it with all engineers. I've done it with all ninjas. I'm thinking about doing it with all wizards. If you guys want to see that, let me know. I actually played a whole bunch of games earlier with all wizards, but people kept losing it like round 15. And so I was like, man, I can't do that in a replay video. So I might do a couple of those live with you all and uh, we can see how they turn out. But in this one, we're going all dart monkeys. I feel like that's pretty obvious at this point. We've got all dart monkeys and we're crushing it. Look at all those juggernauts down there. That is ridiculous. They are just hurling those massive catapult balls all over the place, just causing a lot of damage. This guy is building up some eco uh, up there at the top. And again, that one little monkey is a super monkey. But I don't know why, because he's out of range of... He's out of range of that other guy. And look, there's ones right next to him that aren't changed. I don't know, it's just confusing because obviously I'd rather have one closer up change than that. So we're going to wait for that other Super Monkey fan club to happen. We're going to go ahead and uh, upgrade that guy to Juggernaut. Use this other Super Monkey fan club. It's coming down. I'm a little scared right here. We're waiting on our energy. We're going to use our energy right there because we've got to take these out, guys. Obviously, obviously, he's crushing it up there with all of his Super Monkeys and all of their uh, levels. It looks like uh, those are probably, what, like twos? He's got a couple two threes over there. Um, and <laughs> I don't know. Obviously, he's, he's holding off fairly well. Now, us... We have uh, not that consistent shooters. They don't like the the juggernaut shoot. What I don't know. It's probably once every two seconds, maybe. Yeah, it looks like once every once every second, once every two seconds, something like that. And then we've got the uh, the dart monkeys that throw probably I don't know what the exact number is, but it's not as fast as the super monkey itself. So we're around 40 right here, guys. Freaking out just a little bit. Um, a little bit worried, obviously, we're going to lay this guy down, and uh, we're going to go ahead and upgrade him to darts as well, and we're going to go ahead and get that Super Monkey Fan Club again, and we're going to uh, use it again in just a second. I'm going to lay down this guy as well. We held off uh, that. We've held off so far. Come on. Hold off. Keep going. Hold off. Oh my gosh. All right, so he's got that, that one BFB we just popped it. We've got to keep on holding off. We've got our energy coming up in just a second. Round 41 with all dart monkeys, guys. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. If any of you guys try this, let me know how far you get because this was the farthest that I was able uh, to get in this video is uh, is what we'll see uh, what happens. But uh, we've got those super monkeys going. We've got our, <laughs> our battle energy going. And... Honestly, I didn't really do too much of focusing in this uh, round. Like, a couple of the Juggernauts are focused on strong, uh, but for the most part, um, it's not really... I didn't really mess with that like I normally do. So we're around 42 right here. You can see all these BFBs are coming around the corner. We don't have our energy up yet. I'm going to need to use it. Come on, come on, come on, go on, use it. All right, so I use the energy right there. We are taking these guys out, but there are so many Moabs coming in. And I don't know if we'll be able to withstand it. You can see all those juggernauts are just throwing and hurling those balls like crazy. I feel like we're getting super close to taking it out. But sadly, guys, look at that. We die to balloons. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you all very much. You know that's true. As always, make sure you keep calm and you pop on, all right? See you guys later. Peace.